and welcome back everyone to The Descent. This will be the final episode guys, and I'll explain as I head this way and take a quick look at the uh, area over there I unlocked. I've technically been through this episode is basically what I'm gonna say, or am saying now. I sort of had the whole, the video decided not to record issue, so I basically just ended up having to, com this is me completely redoing the video, oh from scratch, like for some reason it just, my recording software malfunctioned and you get the idea. So over here there should be, oh, Pycatch, I forgot that was there. Over. Over here, there won't be any enemies. There'll just be a supply. Ca I mean, uh, some. I believe some schematics and a named staff. And after this, it should probably take me like 30 minutes, give or take a little bit, to probably do this. So yeah, I apologize for the whole video getting well not recorded properly. I think it, it was probably my fault, at least 50%. But at least I did my. I always try my best. Okay now, let's see, a little of that and a little of this. Okay, there isn't really any major loot uh, when we get through here it, until I kill the boss, who honestly, now I just know how to deal with the boss, who has like one ability that's annoying and I actually don't need to spell for the rest of this so I can... Oops, wrong button. Now I can swap out the spell for something else, which is freaking awesome. What to go with? Let's get a molate back and swap that. Then do dish. I think this will do. Actually, like that. And let's check my inventory. Let's just compare the new staff. The Kingfisher staff honestly is not as good. Now then, while I'm at it, let's see, Blackwell. Let's see, I forgot how good this new armor was. The Revered Defender Armor. Let's go with it. Overall, better protection for him. Now, let us jump into this crazy place. Abratol build all this? Or was it here before them? I'm still not sure what this place is. Like, I think this might be part of the deep roads. Oh, I mean the the this cavern of the pure. Like they they'll explain it, I promise. But this place does not look like it's part of the world. Damn it, I was supposed to, last time I was here I got the, the nursery seeds. Okay, this place is truly crazy. Let's claim. Oh, do not want to fall off. This is definitely a, a very interesting. Nothing should surprise me anymore, but this... Wait, the rhythm we followed. We've found the source. But not the Titan. You're wrong. A Titan is here. Ever since we came down here, the Deep Roads have felt different. Organic. We've been looking for the Titan the wrong way. It isn't like us. It's huge. Big enough to change the world around it. You can't see the Titan. Because we're inside it. I don't survive. Orzammar must know the truth. Let's I take these guys the down. Hmm. Okay, we already did that. Let's start with a nice little mole there. 
Nice little blast of electricity. Let's just kill these bastards. Wait, I keep doing that out of habit. Come on, defenders. You really think you're that challenging. Come on, boys. I'm only track who I'm targeting at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's deal with the defender now. We'll say at least the defender will be relatively easy to deal with. A little shot. And let's finish off that jerk. Oh, Earthshaker. Only is one of them to deal with. Wait. Okay, that was weird. Come on. Yeah, the only thing I'm gonna really get off any of these guys should be gold, as far as I know. And that, but yeah. Other than that, there's no major loot in this place, so it'll save me a few seconds. Those structures. Could there be a whole civilization in here? A city within a titan. Incredible. And the quakes haven't damaged it. It is very impressive. I just want to swap those two. Little zap. Plus, just murdering his defenses. Perfect. Now, let's deal with the stalker. Come on, you bastard. You really think you're gonna win? Luckily, I don't mind spending a few potions. I know for a fact this is apply cash right before the boss. Take one of those. Now let's deal with those jerks. I'm dealing with this one. Are you kidding me? Josie. Let's give her... In a few seconds. Revive me. Let me do this. And we're good. Because I believe there'll be one last fight coming up ahead that's just going to be a bridge that'll honestly be very annoying. That's how I'm going to describe it. Alrighty. Let's just see where we're at. I'm at least glad it's going down ladders. Oh good, we're in the area with the sunlight. Yeah, that bridge right over there is the last set of fights before the boss, I believe. I might be wrong, but I'm highly doubting it. Or maybe it was this bridge. You see how my memory can fail me. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it's that bridge down there, I believe. So let's do this. Let's just take these bastards down. Don't think you can get away, you bastards. Come on. I want to renew my barrier just in case. So I'll trust everyone to heal themselves for now, and yeah, this definitely isn't the bridge I'm thinking of. And if it turns out it is, then damn, they somehow scaled the difficulty down. 
Normally I think I try to think tactically, but other times I feel like I my I am thinking tactically is how I see it. It's just I think in a weird way. And also, unfortunately, the AI is 90% more difficult to deal with in this game, but once you get used to them, they aren't too bad. They fight like fanatics. Aren't they afraid to die? Perhaps they're the Titans' Legion of the Dead. Don't say that. You know, it's, I was honestly thinking something similar, except I think they're more already dead, is my stance. Like, they're sort of in a state of semi-living. Sort of like a zombie, but... They're not complete. Something's keeping them alive instead of bringing them back from the dead. And yeah, this is the bridge I'm thinking of. This is the one that's going to be annoying. Okay, let me do dish. I want to see if we can gather everyone around here. I have a stupid plan, and it only works if they all get here. Hold on, uh... He's there, you're here, you're here. Okay. Stupid idea. Go over there. I'm heading there now, too. Mark of the... Uh, I'm trying to use my rift powers here. Clear out some of these jerks a little quicker. Because honestly, I did not even use this ability in the boss fight, I'm not even going to lie. It'll save me a bit of time here. Why not? Oh yeah, multiple earth shakers, I forgot. Now let's take down these bastards and quick. All we have left are these two, so we should be good in theory. Doesn't matter if you're immune to the burning if I doesn't mean the damaging won't hurt you. Come on. Now, let's finish you off. Let's see. Perfect. This really starts to feel like a Michael Bay production at times. Reminds of how many things are going on at screen at once. She looks pretty... The awesome in her silhouette look. Okay, let's get out of here. First tactical. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Because I know for a fact up ahead will be literally the end of this place. Yep, I just screwed up a bit. Also, I should have gone the other way. Just force a habit, you know? Look, these are the only memories in this area. That phrase is the path of purity. And there's a reference to Titan's blood? It says the Shabratal come here to drink it. The blood keeps them alive. The Titan's blood must keep the Shabratal alive and powerful. But where is it? Unless... 
Lyrium. The Titan's blood is Lyrium. Are you sure? That's quite a leap of logic, Volta. Everything that's happened is related to Lyrium. The destroyed mines, the singing stone, it all leads here. We have to stop this! This is gonna be an interesting boss, I can promise you that much. Actually, this boss reminds me of the first really, the first chapter boss of Dragon Age 2, to be honest. You'll see why in a few bits. But now let's kill this bastard. I fought worse, you bastard. The Guardian. Right now, the trick with the Guardian is I need to target the Lyrium clusters. There's with this guy, but at the same time, you have to deal with the rock flails he has. Because the rock flails, they can be killed. I forget if they respawn or not, but they will attack you. So, right now, first things first, let's deal with the rock flails. Also, another issue I have with him is the rock is, uh, if I am at over any of these, there's a good chance he'll, try, he'll somehow try or succeed in knocking me off. Now then, let's just finish off the, the few flails before we do anything else. Harmony wishes I had Dorian just for his ability, but take what I can get. Okay, I'm going straight after these ones. Good. Die. Let's go. Now we should be open to attack the clusters. Use everything we got. Go s wait, let me double check what the health thousand cuts does, because I cannot remember. Let's see, after you slice through your rifle as you land behind the target striking deep. A lot of hits. Another thing this boss will do is uh, blast out lyrium based rock spikes at me. These are things that could and kill me, or at least knock me off because of how they work. Now let's use up my charge. Let's try Counter Strike with you. Looks like I did some heavy damage, I think. Are you kidding me, girl? Get you in a second. Okay. 
Okay, where is she? Seriously. Oh, there you are. Perfect. She's back from the dam. From being down. Now then, as soon as you get up, use your uh, he using healing potion. We've almost beaten this guy. We've handled worse. Remember, Curtheus? Let me drink a potion. Run! No, no run, no run. Just in case a bit of... No wait, wrong spell. Almost down. We're about to win. Victory is ours. just happened to you? It looked like you were hit by raw lyrium during the battle. Yes, it should have poisoned me, but I feel fine. Good, even. I'm gonna save the number four option for a moment. Uh, can you tell me about the song you heard? You said the song was too loud. It was hurting you. It was chaos. The rhythm I followed here, but magnified, overwhelming, but it is gone. Should I be panicking about you becoming an arcane horror or something? You almost killed me. What happens the next time you lash out? I am in control. I would never harm you, Inquisitor. As far as I know, dwarves can't normally perform magic, except for some guy named Sandel that Varric told me about. You cast some kind of spell. That shouldn't be possible. It wasn't a spell. It was... an accident. Everything will be fine. I'm concerned. We should get help. You may be injured, or... I feel better than I ever have. Stronger, more... alive. The stone is silent. The rhythm has faded, and so have the tremors. But the song still echoes. It tells me things. The breach, that's what disturbed the Titan. It is calm now that it has a connection with one of its children. With me. Um... What did we fight here? Was that the Titan? Did we kill it? The Titan lives. This was an echo, a guardian, but you silenced it. You're sounding insane, but I like it. Did this ha also happen to the uh, king from that was mentioned in the book? Is this what happened at the Taig where you found Paragon Garal's book? Aye, but I do not know what disturbed the Titan then. The song may tell me, in time. One of its children? You said you were a child of the stone, not a child of the titans. I am not certain what I am, but the titan recognized me, like a parent hearing its child's voice. You've been changed. The titan changed you, Volta. You need to be cautious. I am different, but I am still a shaper. Isana. It's our word for Lyrium. 
And we are taught that it is a gift from the stone. But there's so much more to it than we ever imagined. I was sent to the deep roads to recover lost history. This is only the beginning. I am staying here. You don't fear the Shy Bratel? The Shy Bratel killed Lieutenant Wren. And they're still down here. Aren't you afraid? No. I am pure. I can defend myself. Okay. But what is this the beginning of? The Titan is only the beginning. What else could there be? The deep roads are filled with wonders. Answers to questions we haven't thought to ask. How are you going to survive down here? If you stay here, where will you live? What will you eat? I have my stone sense, and now so much more. I'll be safe. I guess it makes sense. This place seems to have sunlight and vegetation. The Inquisition could use you. In all of Thedas, you're the first dwarf ever to command the power of magic. Your help would be invaluable. I have no place on the surface. That world is yours to save, not mine. The mines collapse, Ren's death. It all happened to bring me here. Well, who could she harm down here besides herself? I am called to the Search Inquisitor. This is where I belong. I'm leaving with more questions than answers, but that doesn't mean you have to. Just be careful. The Shaperate in Orzammar will want to know what happened to you. Tell them the truth. You don't know. Let's go. Always comes back. Pay up, Salroga. Thanks, Harding. Now then, let's take a minute just to head over here. Anything interesting on the table? Sorry if I'm not reading this, just you guys can pause and read. I'll level them up later. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed the descent. Right now, due to a few things, I will not actually be able to be, uh, I will not be able to play the final chapter of Dragon Age Inquisition any within the, for the next week or two due to pretty much I'm waiting on a paycheck. Heck and I pretty much spent a decent chunk of change on my new laptop computer. So as soon as I basically take care of the of getting with all that, I will be bringing you the final chapter of, of well, Richard's Tale. The final chapter of the Inquisition and we'll see what comes after that. In the meantime guys, I hope you've enjoyed The Descent. I hope you've enjoyed this series, of, series up to this point and I hope you enjoy the final chapter that will be coming up ho hopefully relatively soon right now this might actually be coming out when fallout 4 is already released and i'm releasing those videos but right now i have fin right now it's a, a little bit in october and i've just finished this so i believe by next week i'll be able to start in the meantime see you soon for the final chapter bye <laughs>